here in Washington, D.C., President Biden addressed the nation Wednesday ahead of Hurricane Milton's landfall in Florida, telling Americans the federal government is ready to provide support. We've already directed the Department of Defense to be ready to provide active duty service members to support Florida after the storm, uh, after the storm surge, if Governor DeSantis requests the help, which I expect he might. And at the same time, Governor Ron DeSantis said he's not relying on FEMA or the federal government to help with Milton. Right now, more than 5,000 Florida National Guard troops are active and are ready to respond. DeSantis said he will be in charge, uh, the person in charge of emergency response. I've got to get the job done, and that's what I'm focused on. Now, people have asked me about, you know, is FEMA going to do this? Just let me be clear, in Florida, we run the show. FEMA's not running the show. We will utilize them to support some of the things we're doing, but you are not going to see FEMA running amok in Florida. I know that's been out there on the Internet. That is not going to happen. And several other states are also planning to send their National Guard to Florida. That includes members from South Carolina, Louisiana, and Iowa, just to name a few. Now, this year's intense storm season is putting a strain on emergency agencies and their budgets, and there are growing concerns recovery efforts could fall short unless Congress acts. More than 60 House Democrats penned a letter to Speaker Mike Johnson urging him to immediately call Congress back into session to pass additional hurricane funding. However, Johnson says that's not necessary or needed at this moment, adding that it will take some time for all the states, uh, you know, to calculate, to add up the extent of their financial need.